Hey guys, World's Player here. Thanks for tuning in. Um, today I'm just gonna let you guys know. Uh, well, I should probably start from the title, City of Help One. That I am starting up the City of Help all over again. Um, basically, it's almost like a guide what to do after you jailbreak your device. Um, so I might as well just jump into it. First off, yes, I knew. No, I have a Halo 3 poster in my background. It's a fun game, you know. Uh, it's a free poster. It came with like that Legendary Edition box that you get. It's that is the box. Oh, um, I actually have my cat right here. She's playing with my bottle cap. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi. She likes YouTube. We just put, like, stuff on her. She looks she's squiggly. Wait, wait, watch. Okay. She's squiggle. Squiggle. Anyway, she's cool. Oh, by the way, uh, a lot of people were actually wondering and sending me messages of what, um, if I play Xbox 360 and what's my gamer tag. It's Spitlickety. Um, S P we go. We go. Um, S P I T space L I C K I T Y. I'm gonna step on my buttons. Uh she's stepping on my buttons. Uh, ooh, I'm step on my buttons. Um, so anyway, uh let's jump into the city help number one. Yeah, spit like the S P I T space L I C K I T Y. I usually play like Call of Duty, Halo, stuff like that. So anyway, uh, let's jump into it. I'm assuming you guys already jailbroke your device. Um, if not, you can check some of my videos out. Might be the correct version, might not. I should probably get up to date and make more videos for jailbreaking. Otherwise, I'm sure there will be plenty online. So anyway, uh, go ahead and open Obsidia. If this is your first time opening Obsidia, you're probably going to get the Who Are You? Oh, hold on, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, phew, that felt great. I love sneezing. Um, you're probably gonna need the who are you thing. Um, try to, yeah, anyway. User hacker developer. I recommend choosing, well, if you actually needed to watch, if you watch my tutorial to do it, I'd recommend using user. Hacker, not a big deal because without developer, you can't operate some of the applications you get with hacker, but I'd recommend user. If you don't know what it does, basically, um, it, it determines which applications you're able to download. If you type in developer, no filters at all. You get every application that comes with Cydia and the sources. If you download Hacker, you get the command line ones, the ones that would either have directions teaching how to do it, the ones that you need to use the terminal application for. So if you don't even know what I'm talking about right now, I just recommend going straight to user. Um, and for user, it's graphical only, meaning you're probably just going to get the games or the stuff that's really simple to use. All you need to do is download it and it basically operates itself. If you download Hacker, you're going to get applications where you need to do some uh, some work yourself. So anyway, um, just choose what you think fits best to you. I'm just going to choose a user just because I don't really make my own applications. You know, I, well, I should probably have chosen Hacker at least, but whatever. Um, so I'm choosing user. It's just going to quickly download packages. Um, or if this is your first time opening up City, it will reboot. I've already gone through that process. Um, so all City is just doing all of its fun stuff. It's really bright. You can't see that. Boom. Boom. Oh, another text message. Anyway, so uh, while that's still reloading data, you can listen to some elevator music to pass the time. All right, I have two essential upgrades. I will upgrade them. Anyway, so I can always just start telling you guys what to do, and I'll show you in a second. What I want you guys to do is make your way over to... Uh, you should be able to find Steph Wiz. Um, oh, wait, I'll just wait until I'm done downloading this so I can show you guys. This is going to be a long video for something so short. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm trying my best to make it amusing. Oh, this, right above my finger, it's Cape Breton, Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. I don't live there, but I've been there a lot. It's where my grandparents live. I just had a bloody nose a few minutes ago. I felt like sharing. I have raisins. Big bag of them. I just bought new headphones for my iPhone. Yup. Oh, and for those of you who aren't familiar with the Canadian currency, this is $2 in Canada, also known as a Tony. 
A toony. That can probably get you a chocolate bar. A toony. Or two dollars. Two loonies. I'm itchy nose. So anyway, um, I want you guys to go ahead once city has opened up and go to manage. See it? Oh, no, don't go to manage. Don't do it. Go to search. Sorry. Search. Then I need you guys to type in Steph Wiz. I'll type it up and show you how to spell it. Right there. S-T-E-F-F-W-I-Z. Click it. Install. Do, do, do. Confirm. And it works. So, um, it loads up really fast. As you can see, it's already done. Just click OK to all the things that pop up. And once again, this tutorial is basically just to let you guys know what to do after you're done jailbreaking your device. Because I can understand why you could be very overwhelmed with what you need to do afterwards. So this is just going to be step by step what to do. This is a very bad tutorial, I have to admit. Uh, trust me, the next one's going to be well planned out and not as crappy. So anyway, it's just reloading the data at the moment. And you don't need to add anything. Like, as you just saw, I did just open up Cydia. I didn't download anything additionally. Um, so that Steph Wiz should be a source that's already on your device. So anyway, I have no idea why this just popped up, but right after I was done downloading it, I clicked Return to... Um, I clicked Return to Cydia, and the one right underneath it, All Sources, is actually what you need to download. But if All Sources does not come up for you that easy, just type it up on your search and it should show up and then just find it click it and then install and then it should oh wait install confirm and then it will load up oh that's the tv in the background can you see that cool anyway um don't be um overwhelmed if you get a whole bunch of these pop-ups that keep saying unable to do this oh okay, press okay unable to do this press okay unable to do this press okay it's normal I get them everyone gets them it's just uh, maybe some websites URLs uh, directories repos are out of date or have canceled completely I got out my door to let my cat out one second Ooh. get out of there just go just go there you go <sighs> Still loading. Yep. Anyway, so what this does is it's going to download all sources. If you don't know what a source is, it just lets you download more stuff to your device. Fun stuff. And then I'll, you know, show you other sources in the near future on what else you can download to your device. Oh. Good backstretch. Feels good. Feels good. It's three o'clock in the morning. I should be asleep. See you all. It says to press OK. You see that? Just press it. Press it until they go away. So, you guys, how was your summer? Mom was good. I went to Norway. Which hopefully some of you already know because I made a video about it. Ugh, keep going. This video is so bad. It's nine minutes long, and I've barely given you guys any information whatsoever. Um, yeah, so, you know, once you guys are done, which I currently am, reloading data, you're done. That means uh, you have all sources. That's all you needed to do. Basically, now this allows you to download a whole bunch of crap. Um, my next city help will basically involve you needing to have all sources so it's a good good job that you did this I want to be showing you guys how to get completely customize your device to use it to the fullest I will show you alright so um you guys might as well just make your way to my second video sorry this took so long um so just go to the city hall too and I'll show you what to do next I'm probably going to be wearing this shame shirt by the way because I'm just going to stop recording start recording just go up again alright Bye.